When was the last time you got the sniffles? How does it feel when you have the sniffles? For me, I feel terrible. A lot like the bear in today's story, the sniffles for bear. Bear developed a cold so bad that he feels like he would not live to see another day. But his friend Mouse comes to his rescue. How does Mouse help Bear get over the sniffles? Stay tuned to find out. As we read today's story, The Sniffles for Bear. The Sniffles for Bear by Bonnie Becker. Illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. Bear was sick, very, very sick. His eyes were red. His snout was red. His throat was sore and gruffly. In fact, Bear was quite sure no one had ever been as sick as he. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. Come in, he rasped. Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed, bustled into Bear's living room. Bear huddled in his chair, big and brown and snuffy snouted. He had a terrible cold. I am come, declared Mouse. Soon you'll be good as new. Bear frowned. Mouse was much too cheerful. I'm quite ill, Bear reminded him. Indeed, said Mouse. I have just the thing. Mouse riffled through his bag, then settled next to Bear with a yellow book in his paw. It was spring, Mouse read. The sky was blue, the sun was happy, all the birds were singing. Stop, growled Bear. I fear you do not appreciate the gravity of my situation. Mouse looked sad, but his tail didn't. In fact, I may not be long for this world, Bear huffed. Oh my, Mouse said. Yes, <coughs> Bear murmured, coughing pitifully. <coughs> I grow weaker by the moment. Ah, I have just the thing, Mouse announced. I shall soothe you with a song. Oh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming. Disgraceful, barked Bear. Don't you like singing? Asked Mouse. When someone is dreadfully ill, you sing mournful songs. Everyone knows that, growled Bear. He blew his nose with a honk. I have just a thing, Mouse said. He riffled through his bag. Mouse strummed heartily on a tiny banjo. That isn't mournful at all, cried Bear. It gets sad later, Mouse promised. This is impossible, intolerable, Bear started to roar, but he was too weak. <coughs> Look, Bear wheezed. Look at how my paw is trembling. It must help me to my bed. And, indeed, Mouse was most helpful. He tucked Bear in, then whisked out the bedroom door. 
he returned balancing a big bowl of soup on his head. Nettle soup, Mouse said. I made it myself. Bear sipped cautiously. It was hot and tasted a bit like spinach and straw. Bear rather liked it. Bear's eyes began to close. Better? inquired Mouse. Bear's eyes snapped open. Certainly not. I think I should make a will. Ah, I have just the thing, said Mouse, fetching a pencil and a little notebook from his bag. He perched next to Bear, his pencil poised to write. Bear gazed thoughtfully at the ceiling. I, Bear, he said, leave my red roller skates to... Bear paused. Mouse leaned forward eagerly. To Mouse, announced the Bear. Hooray, said Mouse. Bear frowned. You need not be so happy about it. I also leave my mop to Mouse, he added quickly. Mouse didn't look as interested in that. And my wash bucket, added Bear. At last, Mouse seemed to understand the gravity of the situation. Anything else? asked the Mouse. I'm too weak to go on, said Bear. Perhaps I could just add your tea kettle, said Mouse helpfully. Have you no decency? bellowed Bear, sitting bolt upright in bed. Your strength has returned, Mouse exclaimed. No, it hasn't, said Bear, falling back. That was just the last flicker before the dark. I see. Mouse folded his paws and looked very sad, even his tail. Bear's voice dropped to a whisper. Farewell, Mouse. Goodbye, Bear, murmured Mouse. Bear closed his eyes. He lived very still. He began to snore. After a while, Bear opened his eyes. He saw a mouse. I feel better, Bear said. Mouse nodded, but he didn't look so good. His eyes were watery and he made sniffling sounds. Perhaps you better lie down, said Bear, getting out of bed. Mouse didn't argue. Do you want to make a will? Bear asked. Mouse shook his head. Bear carefully tucked him in. I'm sorry you're sick, said Bear. Thank you, Bear. Mouse sniffled. And after a moment, he added, that was just a thing. Bear smiled. Mouse closed his eyes and was soon snug asleep. The end. How did you like that story? I found that story very interesting because Mouse caught the sniffles very quickly from Bear. That can teach me that I should be very careful and be very well prepared to protect myself around someone who is sick. What does that teach you? Leave your answer in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more YouTube videos. I'll see you guys soon with a new book.